Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. Today I wanted to share with you guys my top three most and least used planner sections. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in seeing, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So I found it very interesting when I was actually choosing or looking at uh, my different sections and seeing, you know, what am I using the most? What am I not using so much? And whether, you know, quarantine has affected that or not. So uh, let's first start off with the most used section in my planner, which is the calendar section. So I'll give a quick overview of what I have in each section as well. So I do have this vellum dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Uh, this freebie over here from EO Edits. Okay. And then I have my yearly uh, overview bundle from Elmon Paper Co. So I'm using this to track birthdays and vacation days. Then I have my monthly routine and uh, my weekly reflection, which I do at the end of each week. I do have a video on my weekly re reflection process, which I'll link for you guys in the description box below. This vellum over here is from Cloth and Paper. This is a freebie from Back to Basics. And I am using the month on one page from Elmon Paper Co. Okay. And then this is a list uh, insert which I printed on. I wrote 2021 dates. So this is where I'm tracking any appointments or anything that I need to make a note of for 2021 before I start um, putting all the 2021 inserts into my planner. Okay. This vellum uh, dashboard here is from Infinite Lotus. As always, I do have a discount code, which I'll link for you guys in the description box below. And then I am using the... Um, Infinite Lotus week on two page insert. So it looks like this. Okay, then you get into my daily section. And uh, this is a dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This is the day's front cover page from Elmon Paper Co. This is my son's school schedule. And then we get into the daily inserts, okay? So of course, that is my most used. I always have my planner open uh, to the weekly insert, which I use every day. As you guys know, I don't use daily inserts because our schedule is the same every single day. So this hasn't been updated yet because I didn't have uh, the sticky notes, but now that I have purchased the nude sticky notes from Cloth and Paper, I can go ahead and update our daily schedule and add it to the Today Dashboard. This today dashboard is from Cloth and Paper, so that's where I put the daily schedule and a sticky note that I use to brainstorm so if I remember anything during the day, uh, I can jot that down over here if I need to take notes, whatever the case may be, that's where uh, I will write that down. Okay, so again, the calendar section is the most used section in my planner. The second most used section in my planner, which I thought was really interesting, is my social media section. So this is my YouTube section. Again, the uh, front cover over here is from Elmon Paper Co. These sticky notes here are from Cloth and Paper. I use these sticky notes to uh, write anytime I have a collab with anyone. This dashboard over here is from Cloth and Paper. The inbox dashboard is from Cloth and Paper as well. So what I usually do is I'll write down uh, a collab, that I'm having, the date of the collab, what the topic is, and then I will stick it onto this dashboard over here. So as you can see right now, I don't have any pending collabs happening right now. Okay, and then I'm using the project insert from Infinite Lotus where um, I write down any notes or anything like that. So that's where I do my brainstorming for my videos. Are there any to-dos? Like, do I need to buy anything? Do I need to print anything off for my videos? And then on the back, there's some grid paper where I make notes for my videos. Then I've got my YouTube video ideas. Okay. And then I just track some milestones for uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, payment schedule. So any payments that uh, I earn from affiliates or from uh, YouTube are tracked here as well. Okay. 
So again, that is my social media section. My third most used section in my planner is my finances section. So uh, again, the front cover over here is from Elmont Paper Co. These um, sticky notes are from Poi and Hun. Uh, Seven Baby Steps is a freebie. Uh, I'll link that for you guys in the description box below. Then I just have some financial goals, uh, any transfers that I make per paycheck. And uh, I believe this needs to be updated because of quarantine, things have changed now. Uh, this is our running to buy list where I track anything that we need to purchase, just maybe not right now. And then when we get paid, I take a look and see what we are able to uh, purchase from that paycheck. This is a um, dashboard from Cloth and Paper. And then these sticky notes over here are from Infinite Lotus. I use these anytime I need to, um, you know, make any additions, uh, add anything. You know, if I have money owing on a credit card or anything like that, I just grab one of these sticky notes and uh, use one of those. Uh, this is a month on two page from Infinite Lotus. Again, this is where I'm tracking anything that goes in or out of our um, checking account. I just like to have uh, a visual. I like to see everything so that it makes it easier for me when I'm doing my budgeting. Then I'm using my expenses tracker where I will uh, list anything that needs to be deducted from the paycheck and how much we are deducting uh, for that category. All right, and then I'm using my notes uh, grid paper from Infinite Lotus sort of as an inbox. So I, um, you know, will make notes for myself. For example, TD Home Insurance owes us uh, some money, so I just have that written down so I can keep track of that. And then if I have money owing on the visa, again, I use one of these sticky notes to, uh, you know, make my additions. And so I always have a running total of how much we owe on the credit card. So again, my finance section is my third most used section of my planner. Now moving on to my least used sections in my planner. And to be honest with you, I think it's because of quarantine that I'm just not really uh, utilizing these sections. Uh, I do, again, have my kids at home. We are doing the virtual learning. So a lot of my time and energy is going into that right now. So the first least used section of my planner is the project section. Uh, like I said, I just have not had the energy or the time to uh, spend on doing any projects right now. So uh, this insert here is from Peanuts Planner Co. So the way that I've edited this insert, because it does come uh, blank, is I've written down project list, and then I have priority. So is it high or a normal priority? Have I started it? Uh, so I will use um, these corner stickers. And then have I completed the project? And that's when I would use the square stickers. Okay, and then I'm just using these stickers over here from cloth and paper, which are the nude squares and the nude corners. Then I have the 52 week home organized challenge. Now this I printed off of Google. I do this every year. Uh, I print it off. I start off thinking, you know, this is great. Uh, basically you are given something uh, to do every single week. And by the end of the 52 weeks, your home will be completely organized. So as you can see, uh, the last time I checked it off was in March, and of course, everything happened in March, so I haven't even looked at this <laughs> insert um, at all, and, uh, you know, it's, again, a really good insert to have. I think if you can keep on top of it, that'll uh, really, really help you out with um, organizing your home. Okay, and you can see I started, um, you know, with uh, my daughter's room, changing it because we're changing it from like a toddler room to a big girl room now. But um, again, I just kind of, you know, left it and I haven't really looked at it. I'm hoping to get uh, projects done this week. My husband has taken some vacation days uh, this week. So I'm hoping to look at my projects and see if we are able to at least finish one of them. Okay. So again, these project inserts are from Infinite Lotus. So that is my first least used section. The second um, least used section in my planner is my personal section. In my personal section, I basically have a list of books to read. This is a list insert from Infinite Lotus where I printed on again, um, 
using my printer, writing books to read. So I purchased the book, but I have yet to open it. And again, you know, like I said, with virtual learning, it's really just taking up a lot of my time, but I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things. Um, you know, like I said, with my husband having a few days off, hopefully that'll give me some more time to uh, start reading again because I really enjoy reading. So I have books to read and I also have a list to memorize our holy book. So again, um, you know, I'm hoping to have more time to start doing the things that I love again. And the third and final least used section in my planner right now is the meals section. So in my meals section, I have this nutrition planner, which is from EO Edits and I'll link it for you guys in the description box below, where you basically have a food Q&A. So if there are any approved foods that you can eat, any not approved foods, so we do have some allergies in the family. I do have some restrictions for my stomach. So I really just like having that in my planner. Then we have some favorite meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, you know, any snacks, desserts, anything like that that you want to write down. Then we have a dinner menu four week planner, which I really love. And again, I just haven't really been using it, but this is a good way of, you know, if you wanted to alternate uh, the foods that you make so that it makes life easier, um, you can just make the same foods over again. So I haven't added any new foods to this. We haven't tried any new foods um, since, you know, uh, quarantine and things like that. I find that lately we've just kind of been making the same foods over and over again. And so every week we just kind of, my husband and I sit down and write a list of what the foods are that we want to eat for that week. And that's what I've been making. So I'd love to get back into, um, you know, trying new meals. So maybe trying a new recipe once a month. And if we like that recipe, adding it uh, to this uh, list. So that is it, you guys. Those are my top three most and least used uh, planner sections. I'm curious to know what uh, sections are you using the most or what top three sections are you using the least in your planner? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you found it really helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.